Hi guys, today we're gonna learn how to play soccer. Soccer is a sport. So let's start. Let's start by simple, easy dribbling. First, you need to run. When you're running with the, this side of your foot, you have to kick like the ball, like this. Watch careful. See how I'm running and I'm kicking the ball? And that's how you're supposed to do it. I'll let you practice for a minute. And remember, you, you can dribble with both foot. Always hit with the inside. Sometimes you can hit with their toes too, but most of the time try to hit with their inside. I'll let you practice that for now. I'll pause the video. Okay, you ready? Now we'll practice pullbacks. Pullbacks are easy. I'll teach you how to do it. It's easy. First, find, put your leg on your soccer ball. <coughs> Sorry. Put your leg on your soccer ball and then pull it back. And then turn. It de on which, if you want to know which side to turn when you do that, this side or this side you have to turn it depends like if you do it if you do that with your right foot then you have to turn this way or else if you do it with your left foot then you have to turn this way okay i'll let you practice that for now i'll pause the video while you're practicing Okay, you ready? Now, we are going to do the L move. It is easy. If you find pull packs easy, then then you will find, I'm pretty sure that, that you will find L moves easy too. L moves are easy. First, you need to do a pull back, and then you just kick the ball with this side of your foot. So, like this. Like this and like this. L moves are mostly used for passing. Like if someone's coming, you can just do this, do this, and the ball you can pass. Okay? I'll let you do that. And you can do it with any foot. And when you do it, be sure that you turn. If you do it this way, you turn this way. If you do it like if you do it this way, then you turn this way. After that, or if you don't want to pass, you can do that move and dribble. I'll let you practice for now. I'll pause the video while you're practicing. Okay, you ready? I just wanted to tell you something. When I'm pausing the video, if you don't find enough time, I'll wish you can always pause the video. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next thing. This is called the backward L. Do you know why? When I did the L move, it was going like, like this and like this. But now, it's going like this and like this. That's why you call it People call it the backward L. I'll teach you how to do it. First, you put your legs and ball like this. You bring your leg over here, and then you kick with 
this side of the foot. People usually mostly use that for dribbling, but some people use that for passing. But if you ask me, I would say it's better for passing or in dribbling. I'll pause the video while you practice that. And remember, you can always pause the video if you don't have enough time to practice. Okay, you ready? Now we're going to move on to this move called scissors. The backward L and the scissors are almost the same thing. Because watch how I do it. You, you do the backward L, but you don't kick it this time. You do this, okay? And then you see this leg, you kick it. People mostly use that for dribbling, like this. Imagine someone was coming. You just do this and this and dribble like that, okay? It depends on what time, which side you're doing it. Always do it with your right foot. Most people mostly do it with their right foot. Some people don't like it to do it with your left foot. I'll let you practice and I'll pause the video for now. Okay, you ready? Now, we're going to do something called leg passing. Some people use it for exercise, but some people even use it for it in soccer. Most, most, most of the time, people use it for soccer. It, I'll teach you how to do it. It's like this. You see this? First, put your legs like this. Put the ball right to your, uh, right to your, next to your leg. If your le right leg, then put it next to your right leg. If your left leg, then, then put it next to your left leg. I'm a right leg, so I'm going to do it like this. First, you have to do this and do this. That's why I call it leg passing. It's. A I'll let you practice. But first, instead of using it in dribbling, first do this, like this. I'll let, I'll let you practice that. I'm gonna pause the video for now, while you practice. Okay, you ready? Now, we are going to use it in dribbling. So first, it's easy. Do this. Dribble, and then just stop it. Do this. You can practice that while I pause the video now. Okay, you ready? Now, we're going to do stopping the ball when dribbling. It, some people just, some, I found some kids, small kids, just keep on dribbling and don't know how to stop the ball and they just trip on it. That's why I'm gonna teach, I'm here to teach you how to do it. It is easy. So first you just dribble and then you put your step on, on it. Easy. I'll show you again. Watch careful. 
do it and do this. Sometimes you have to dribble slow and sometimes you have to dribble fast. Most of the time people dribble fast. Oh, uh, okay. Now I'll let you do it while you... I'll let, I'll let you practice while you do it. Sorry for that. Okay, you done? Good job! You just finished the video now. You are now a good soccer player. You know everything you need to know. Or everything I know. Check out my other videos. I have a bunch, I have a, other good videos. Okay, this is the end for now. See ya, bye bye. Bye bye.